We have a Toyota product that wants us to take it to the dealer. Let's see if we have to. Hey there viewers, welcome back to Dallas Auto Diag. I'm sitting inside a 2013 Lexus IS350. It's one of my uh, buddy's vehicle. Um, his concern is the AC is not working. So those buttons are not operating. They're not responding to anything. And the rest of the, uh, the navigation system works. Everything works except when you hit the climate, you see this. Climate control system error, please contact your dealer. All right, um, he did swap the uh, screen and that didn't uh, fix the issue. I looked on YouTube trying to collect some information and I couldn't find any useful video. So I said, well, let's make one. There's a guy with a Eastern European uh, accent uh, he was uh, that was the closest to the issue he was uh, trying to solve the same problem in his SUV Lexus and uh, he has a, a, a scanner that can talk to all modules now I think he missed something in his video his uh, AC, AC, AC system was uh, experiencing a code in the uh, AC pressure sensor. I mean, hopefully he fixed it. I, I'm not sure uh, when he did, did he post it. I'm going to go back and look at the video and see if, if it's soon, then uh, I'll probably uh, uh, shoot him a comment. But uh, he, he, he didn't know what was the issue. He kept asking the people. He was showing that he can activate the blower, everything. Uh, but he didn't know what's the deal. So to me, I think this message comes with every malfunction related to the uh, the AC system. I'm not sure I didn't read this in, 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 in a form or anything or a service information, but I saw uh, on Google that multiple multiple uh, and different uh, problems would lead to the same code just like, uh, and Chevy's reduce engine power soon. What does it mean? Nothing. It could mean it could. It, there's like uh, 50 reason why this uh, message would pop on the cluster. So let's head to the uh, scanner, scan the vehicle, and see what we come up with. I apologize if you hear uh, air blowing in the background. It's it's a really hot day here in Texas, and uh, <laughs> I'm doing my best to keep cool to uh, focus. On what I'm doing so this is a full scan for the vehicle and we have a bunch of none related to our issue codes and most of the other stuff are history now uh, history of the body the vehicle the car had a hit I believe on this side and uh, it has two problems right now that and a low beam i believe low beam is not working because we have another message pop on the cluster when you first start the vehicle so we'll we'll see if we're going to fix that if if, if anything i will probably make a separate video for that um again as i said the car was hit in the front it wasn't a a bad hit that uh, required a wiring repair that's what i was told and um so nothing here related to the AC problem so that's gonna be fun to diag I think we need to head to the tablet and pull up a wiring diagram so we're using all data for our information here and uh, this is the uh, automatic uh, air conditioning diagram and what it looks like there's a an AC amplifier uh, module 
controls the the AC now how is that module interpreted in the scan tool let's find it all right so what do we have here what modules we have here we have ABS SRS occupant gateway telematics navigation system no that's not an engine electric ECT transmission combination meter tire pressure body body three body five it might be one of these I'm not sure yet uh, sliding roof smart access power source control combination switch master switch EMPS cruise control now those are the modules that we have are talking they're working we can talk to them uh, the rest says no response so it's either mm, the car is not equipped with it or it is and it's not working right mirror left mirror yeah it look like that we don't have a power mirrors I don't think so or we do maybe we do uh, the switches are right here uh, driver seat rain and humidity sensor air conditioning interesting air condition intuitive parking assist tilt now the question is if this air conditioner is the same as the AC amplifier why none of these modules is telling about it usually when there is a no communication with one module then everybody would freak out We'd be like hey this guy is not working this guy is not doing his job but here none of the codes is referring to uh, lost communication with air condition control module or amplifier or whatever most communication most most this is for the navigation and the radio system see a component yeah no code uh, now let's assume it is in this case we have to locate it and check power ground and uh, can high and can low right here computer data lines well, I was able to find some information it says here J58 and 59 AC amplifier I click on it and zoom in J58 it goes down so it should be right there somewhere under the, the glove compartment all right I believe it is this uh, blue module with the three connectors over there so let's see if I can uh, get it loose, uh, get it uh, hanging so we have a better access to those connectors or we probably just disconnect them and see if we have some extension to pull them down like this one and uh, do our checks here. Alright, so the ones that I'm highlighting are the ones that we're going to check. The first one is that yellow, it says B, it means battery, it comes from a fuse, 7.5 amp. It says AC fuse, which should be on that fuse box over there on the driver's side. I am on that yellow one right here there is two yellow ones and both of them start at the beginning but it is that yellow brown black because here we have yellow brown black light green green and yes we have a match and so I am probed on that yellow and my test light and is on a ground let's see if we have power and we do have power here let's switch to the second one which should be how at all times this is it says this one right here says uh, the ground we're going to check later this one black pin number 21 says ignition plus all right so the first row is 20 and 21 is the black which happens to be right next to the yellow and we do have power I am on that white and black the last one number 20 and we have power except now we're using a power source right here so uh, my end is on a 12 volt when I hit a ground I will have a light coming on so this is a good ground the last two that we have to check which probably you won't be able to do if you're doing this by yourself those two uh, are the computer data lines you need a scope to check those all right now we are on pin 30 a brown so two browns next to each other pin 30 pin 31 
these are the two browns I am back probed on the Pinteri how I know because that is 20 the raw before and the black one that we checked is 21 and then you count till you get to 30 we have 0 to 11 volts let's switch to pin 31 which should be wow we also have 0 to 11 now what we need to do is we just want to dig more and read more about those oh what I did read more about those and see if they are 0 to 11 both of them I mean it is nice uniform signal I don't see any problem with it and I'm gonna assume it is good this is the section where it should be mentioned but it's not mentioned it is just describing how things work without mentioning what's the voltage minimum maximum of those voltages so again we're going to assume that it is okay and uh, for now I'm gonna condemn that uh, AC amplifier uh, I'm gonna call the owner and tell him to bring me one so we test the system we'll be back one week later got a used unit from eBay it was 70 bucks and if you are buying this if you are changing this one thing is gonna make a difference if if your car have heated plus cooled seat or not and the way to know is next to the I'll show you next to the ashtray right here next to the shifter it has those buttons so if yours has those buttons then this is your part number 88650-53480 or just pull yours um, and match the numbers if not then there is a different number let's install it there we go moment of truth I mean you don't have to start the vehicle I just started the vehicle so the battery charges has been sitting for a couple of days hey look what we got a working climate control everything's operating I don't think the car has a Freon in it because as I said there was a uh, an accident in the front yeah but the blower works touch works Alright, that was the fix. Uh, did I mention it was 70 bucks? Um, plus my fees. But now, uh, since I did it and uploaded that on YouTube, hopefully that's gonna help you um, uh, avoiding the <laughs> diagnose fees. I know some di diagnosticians probably will hate me saying this, but um, yes, we are needed. In, in, in many cases and here I think you're gonna still need somebody because those those can uh, uh, can network uh, lines you cannot just it, it has to be somebody like me with with the uh, scope to to see what it is but at least now we know that what was it a zero, 1 to 11 or uh, 0 to 11 on both is the known good for that system to operate Again, thank you so much. Please, uh, if the video was helpful, give me a like, uh, subscribe. If you're interested in more videos like this, I really appreciate it. The last thing before we close this case, we want to make sure that there is no other codes in the air condition. First of all, it was no communication before. Now it's communicating air conditioner. We have two codes, passenger solar uh, sensor circuit and driver solar sensor. So, one more thing we go inside come on it's 
special functions uh, servo motor initialization do this if the servo motor is used or replaced the air conditioner amplifier is replaced yes the battery is disconnected well both of them so let's go next yes ignition on engine off next now initializing when the diesel exhaust fluid def indicator I don't have a diesel exhaust <laughs> stop flashing or, or the audio indicator is off initialization is complete we don't have no indicators flashing here nothing flashing here so or the audio indicator is off here audio but we don't have an indicator anyways so I guess that's it all right thanks for watching